Well, hello, folks. I thought I'd do a bit of a video here. And yes, I'm using my phone, so it's a little shaky. As you can tell, I have a 9mm over here in the corner. My U Birdie 45 Colt. And a couple of knives on the table. Just here recently, Defure, I mean, uh, uh, Biden said that he wants to get rid of all civilian semi automatic weapons. We don't need them, they're weapons of war. The original Colt revolvers like that were made for the military, too. He'll be coming after those soon enough. And there was that knife attack. What was it? A couple of weeks back in Idaho. He'll be coming after all the sharp pointy things because we Americans can't be trusted with them. Gee. Sounds like he's trying to be the American people's babysitter instead of president. And yes, I have Schultze on my coffee cup. <laughs> I know nothing, I see nothing, I hear nothing. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy some coffee. See if the, the way the liberals look at 9 millimeters, semi-autos, as you can tell, that one has nothing in the, wheel, uh, in the uh, magazine well. It just has two bullets sitting there and nothing in the magazine. Let's see if it loads itself and goes out the door by itself the way they per, uh, say that these weapons kill people. And let's see if that Uberti, which is empty, as you can see there, will load those two rounds, go out the door, and kill somebody by itself. Because it's an evil gun, according to the liberals. And, oh my, I got two knives here. They might go out and start slashing people by themselves. Like the liberals would probably say they do. Hmm. This coffee's good. What do you think? Are they going to move on their own? Are they going to jump up and load themselves? Are they going to walk out the door on their own? Do those sharp pointy things scare anybody laying there on the desk? Hmm. No. They are all tools used in the proper manner. Won't harm anybody if they're used properly by somebody that's trained and knows how to use them properly and does not go into a place where people are unarmed and start acting like a fool because you know what I'm not that foolish my, my tools will not ever be used in that manner against my fellow Americans. They are for defending my family against those who would break the law and break into my home. They are for fun of target practicing, putting holes in paper. This is a hunting knife. When I used to hunt, I used these 
for skinning and cleaning up the animal, cutting it up. This here is a patch knife that I used for the rendezvous with my black powder muzzle loader. Which, you know something? It's not going to load itself either. Otherwise, I'd have known about it a long time ago. So far, these tools haven't moved. They have the opportunity. They have the ammo sitting there. And there. Hmm. Nope. They're not doing anything. What about the knives? Are they doing anything? Oh, it must be the person behind the, the tool. And it must be something that the liberal politicians don't want you to know. Such as those people that keep going through the revolving door of our justice system. That they don't want to hurt their feelings and put them behind bars so they don't commit crime again. That maybe if they put them behind bars, they're going to suffer ill effects on their minds, and they'll have to see psychiatrists. Oh my. If they go out and they harm people with any kind of weapon or tool, whether it be a hammer, a screwdriver, a pocket knife, a revolver, or a semi-automatic. It is not the tool's fault, but the person doing the crime, which should be punished. But not this administration. They would rather turn them loose back on the street so they can commit the crime again. Well, Thank you for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and definitely share so we can get more views. Thank you very much, and have a good night. Bye-bye.